So my male ball python is in pre-molt, as you can see from the eyes of how bluey hazy they've gone. So I've decided he's going to have a bit of a bath. Now usually I do them in the tub, but I'm doing them in the big bath for now, so he can get to stretch out and do his thing. So hopefully this will help him. I'm not using the gimbal today, but zoom in the boy, there we go, gives him a chance to stretch out and get all the uh, water into his skin and help to ease him out of the shed. And I've noticed a little bit what was coming away when I checked on him last night. So I thought, you know what, somebody needs a bit of a soak. Now usually I give him a bit of a soak to help him go to the bathroom. And he's been a little bit, but not much. Not as much as I would like him to do. So as you can see, he can still be in his coils and the water's not too deep. So that gives him a bit more confidence while he's in there. Now he's just testing his surroundings like to find out... If it's safe because obviously he can't see very well so all he can do is use his, uh, his tongue to taste the air now he's been a really cool laid-back ball python but saying that because he can't see that well he may strike out and that is going to be completely expected so I know for a fact he's only doing that because he's worried and I wouldn't get upset about it. And as you can see, he's just getting to see what his surroundings are like. I mean, after him, I'm going to be bathing a, a forest because she gets a bath weekly. And that's her routine. Now, at the moment, somebody did comment saying she's put on weight, but what she's been doing is, like I've said, I think she's trying to incubate, um, oh, what's the word? Eggs, even though they're not fertilised, because that's what they do. She's three years old, is uh, forest, so it's going to be expected. Now... Aurelius has stretched out a bit, which will do him some good, which is what I want, because it will help him out. He's getting all the water into the layers. Obviously, there's like a, a thin, uh, like an oil or a water underneath the skin anyway, which helps it to come off. But obviously, this will help them too, because obviously, I don't want him to have any problem shedding. So this is just a little helping hand. So, and there's also you can stretch out in the bath, which will do him good. So just let him rest. And any bathroom problems he's got, they will be resolved too. I always like to keep an eye on my creatures, obviously. Ones that have just shed, they've all, they all end up with a little bit of a, um, a soak in water. Just to make sure they've removed every single detail. And so they don't have anything like eye caps or anything like that, which could obviously cause blindness. Or nose caps, which obviously could restrict them uh, breathing. You know, I'm fair enough they can go through their Jacobson organ in the mouth, but obviously they need other things too. And this will help them go to the bathroom. This will help this, that and the other. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> but this is what I want. So he's relaxed. He's not going ferociously through the water. Because I've not made it stupidly deep like I did before. So this will do him good. So he won't freak. So that's why he's not freaking out. He did it first. Because he was worried. Because he might have remembered from last time. I do not know. But basically now he's just testing. You probably can tell that I'm here. Because I'm probably just giving off a heat signature but also I've got the sun behind me too 
so I'm just glad he's just relaxing in the bath so I'm going to leave him to it and I've got a towel for him yes he has his own towel like Forrest she has her own towel then obviously they get washed but it's only fair that they get to do these things and I will zoom out because whoops wrong way there we go this will do him some good and he's going around slowly so this will help him and that's what I want <laughs> and being the animal parent that I am I always worry about my animals so yep <laughs> Even the cats, which you may see later. This is why I do other creatures. Because I like the cats with their uniqueness. I like my snakes with their uniqueness and so forth. With my tarantulas, spiders, geckos. <laughs> I like a variety. I like animals. End of. If I could have a dog as well, I'd have a dog as well. But then it becomes... Money, space, or the rest of it. I just think a little bit logically. So, yep. Well, he's having a good check out in the uh, water. And I'm glad. And that's why he's able to relax and do his thing. I have now put him back in his enclosure but he decided to stay in a ball because he was a bit annoyed at me so I'll open this for you so he's back in here I've not put him under his enclosure because he can do it himself <laughs> simple as that he is due a clean out but he can wait I want him just to shed and poop and everything and then I can do it oh and he's coming out of his coils now so oh. There's his head. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm just hoping that he uh, does his thing pretty soon. So, yeah, I'll give him, collect, change his water later. But he can stay in there. It will take him some time to get the confidence because they are a bit on the touchy side, those ball pythons anyway. But he is going to probably go back into his hide and have a little bit of a, what's the fudge, uh, a strop. <laughs> and then hopefully he'll shed soon. But I'll give him a few days. If he's still not shed, he'll be back in for another bath. But chances are I'll just put him in the top this time, which is warmer in here. It's just to keep an eye on him, make sure he sheds well. But hopefully it should be soon because his eyes were a bit hazy last night, but now they've gone really, really blue. So, it's just one way of keeping an eye on him. Right, I'm going to stop shaking and I will get the next one who's having a bath. So our lady is in the bath and as you can see, the water is not too deep. And obviously over time, because I've got used to bathing her, the bath isn't too bad, even though she's looking at me disgustingly. Now, I'm going to give her a wash, and then uh, she can go and do her thing. <laughs> so, back in a minute. Right, she has actually, and I don't know why it's going blurry like that. But, anyway, this young lady has had her wash. Now it's up to her if she wants to swim through or not, or just sit there and relax. Because all this... Helps me go to the bathroom like any of the other animals, or it, um, yeah, just helps again with shedding and obviously being reptiles. This all does them good and it keeps her nice and clean. Now, I have ordered her some substrate, but unfortunately, I won't be getting it until maybe Thursday or Friday of next week, even though I've ordered it. So, all I can do is wait for it. Now, somebody kindly donated. Um, was it Glasgow Dave and I did indeed buy some food for um, for Forrest and she is very happy because we were running low in locusts and that's what she does so and she has the odd treat of doobies which I do have plenty of but at the end of the day uh, there is uh, obviously I buy vegetation 
towards the um, the upkeep of the dubias and bits of uh, rabbit food and everything else. So obviously I've got that as well. So yeah, everything goes towards helping her out and and other creatures. But the locusts mainly are hers. But obviously she only gets a few a week. But she's doing great. She does look like she's put on weight. But like I said, she does think she's having a phantom pregnancy. I have not upped her food at all. So all I can do is let her go through her stages. She does keep burying herself and digging a hole and acting as if she's getting ready to do a nest. So it's just one of them instinctive things that she's going to do. And no, I'm not going to stop her. Now, like I said, her enclosure is getting changed. So I will clean it all out as normal. And obviously she'll have a new substrate and then she'll probably do another nest again. <laughs> so hopefully she will give birth to her infertile eggs soon enough. So she's listening to me and that's what's making me laugh. She's like, what the fudge? You talking about me? I'm here, you know. I'm here and I am listening. Stop talking about me and talk to me. How dare you do this, human? <laughs> she does make me laugh. But she's so cute and she knows it too. Because I do take her out and give her cuddles and tell her how much I love her and all that. And she's probably just sat there thinking, yeah, human loves me. I've got her wrapped around my claws. <laughs> I don't know why my phone... Oh, she's off. Let's zoom back out again. Again, it's exercise. She does get her exercise. Some days I can't do it if I'm doing other things. And she's in bed. I'm not going to wake her up for it. Because it's not fair on her. Because she has her routine. But most days she's out doing stuff. And if I find a dog uh, with her phantom eggs. I do take her out. And it's like, come on. Get a move on lady. Then she has a little run around. Then she gets back and goes back in. And then I just leave her alone. So that's all I can do. Every now and again she'll come out. Or yesterday she was interested to come in. What the fudge I was doing. Oh yeah, sorting out something in my uh, creature room. And she was sat there watching. And she was not missing a single thing. It was quite funny. It was like, what are you doing? Why can't I be involved? Why am I locked up in here? So it was, it was really, really funny. <laughs> but yeah, she doesn't miss nothing this one. Sometimes I try and compare her to the cats, even though the cats are mammals and she's not. Doesn't mean they don't act kind of the same. They're very, very nosy and they have to know everything. And everything is always about them. So, yeah. <laughs> and I can't say, yes, you, everything. You think everything's about you, don't you, lady? Everything. Everything. <clears throat> don't you? Everything's about you, isn't it? You think it is, don't you? <laughs> You're a funny lady. <sighs> Her face says it all. It says it all. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll leave her in a little bit longer and then I'll take her out. And uh, she can dry off and probably get some treats and then expect to stay out for the rest of the day. But unfortunately, I've got a few things I've got to do, but most world's important things was to soak the reptiles. Oh, sorry, soak the snake in forest, because forest, if you remember, is very important. The little girl is drying off a bit, and she left me a present in the bath. But it doesn't matter, because it just proves that she's going to the bathroom okay. So she's going to dry off a little bit in the sun while I give the bath a clean and wipe around a little bit and then she'll be downstairs for her treats of the day. Won't you? Oh, you see that naughty fly. I know, it's lucky the cat's not in here, otherwise they would have beat the fly up by now. <laughs> but she can see that fly. Here's how good her eyesight is. <laughs> bye bye fly. If only she could get it. Forest coming for a visit to the cats. It's lucky she sees the cats all the time now and she's not too annoyed at them. Whoops. 
but still she gets to see them every day not your forest I brought somebody outside with me to experience some natural sunlight for her might do her some good I'd let her run on the garden but the garden's a tip until we can get it sorted but again, we're getting somebody in. We're actually wanting to get a catio outside for my cats, which is something I'd like. Obviously, all this work has taken years to do, but that's what happens when the house is your own and not owned by some sort of authority. But still, it's cool. But this is her first time outside. The weather's a bit naff, so I thought I'd give her a few bits of sun rays, but there you go. Anyway, yes, the snake hasn't shed yet, but at least he had his bath, because this is the day after, <laughs> and I haven't got all my piercings in because I've been for a uh, MRI on my neck, of all things. <laughs> and what else have we got? I've got something really interesting for Thursday, so hope you enjoy it. And I've got creature feedings, and I'm disappearing on Saturday, I think. I'm going somewhere, doing more videoing. We've got some future video videoings. I can get that word out, it'd be easier to say filming. But yeah, as you know, my Mondays are my creatures, my my babies. And other days is something special. <laughs> Let's move over so we get some of these buildings out of the way because I don't really want them in the view. See a brick wall. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, we've got loads of things to sort out. Oh, look, it's nice and bright, nice sunlight. So we'll do her some good, some natural sunlight for her. But yes, I still have her going up, playing with the cats, because she, she likes seeing the cats. The cats are like curious. She doesn't try and bite them like she used to, which is good. So I'll just put it back down on her. Yep, don't I? Yes, I'm wearing my Reptile Army shirt. Anybody that knows Brian Barcheck, this is what the shirt is for. It even says on it. Because obviously people should know that he's got, uh, was it pancreatic cancer? So, yes, I'm wearing one of his supportive T-shirts and I've got stickers and all sorts. So I've been watching the guy for years. <laughs> I watch a lot of people. Oh, you can see Evie in the window. No, you don't see Evie very often. Hang on. There you go. Evie is a cat that you don't see very often because I don't really go downstairs very often. Be Evie. <laughs> yeah, we're taking this window out because we don't like it. It's pants. We're actually wanting to get other ones so the cats can have something to go outside in. But this side of the house is a lot uh, warmer, believe it or not. Just turn it around again. Yeah, typical weather. It's probably going to rain yet again. The weather is warm, but the sun keeps coming and going, so it's annoying. But giving her an experience, then I'll probably take her up with the cats and then she'll probably get some food. <laughs> she is a good um, bearded dragon and like I said I don't mind her running around a little bit and getting a bit of enrichment and fun don't I but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video oh and uh, yes I was going to show you about releasing the bee but unfortunately the poor bee passed away but I'd rather the bee had passed away somewhere safe than getting eaten by a, uh, a spider. I know I'm not bothered about spiders, as you know, since I keep them. 
but we were trying to rescue a bee since we don't really see them very often. So it looks like it just must have just been the end of its time, possibly, because I don't think they last that, they live that long anyway. But at least it passed away with a full belly, that's all I can say. So at the end of the day, any creature we see that's hurt will help. That's what we do. Oh, I do, and Simon does sometimes as well, since he's rescued birds and all the rest of it. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I shall see you on Thursday. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, put a comment in, and let me know what you like. Obviously, Monday's creatures, Thursday's all other things like going out, paranormal, and all sorts. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.